today. From NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. We'll see Davis Mills and the Houston Texans taking on Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 51 back in 2017, we are inside NRG Stadium in Houston. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Houston Texans. And we are underway from Houston. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by a familiar face. This is Houston's first round pick, of course, back in 2017, Deshaun Watson. play from scrimmage. Watson going to throw it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Christian Harris. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he powers through the first wave, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Now on second and 13, Mills. They dial up the screen here to Burkhead. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Second down and goal, Mills. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Lovey Smith, he's seen plenty of challenges in his time as a coach, and he's going to throw the red flag on this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Third and goal, Mills. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Jordan Elliott gets in there to drop 
stopped him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And it's now 3-0 Texans. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. Certainly did, and I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. First carry for Nick Chubb. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Seven yards there and a first down. Watson now to throw. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. They go with Chubb on second down. Great footwork, but still wrangled down before reaching the 20. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Watson on third down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it. The 30. 10. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there. A really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. The last run got six. Now second and four. And again, it's Chubb. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. They go up the middle with Chubb. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll try the air now with Watson. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 24-yard line. Up the middle. It's Chubb. And not much. 
maybe a yard down to the 23. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Here's Watson on the sneak. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. And Chubble trying the middle here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Now Mills. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. After the interception, here's Watson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big play that time for Cleveland. 51 yards. When he launched that football, I'm guessing he was thinking end zone, but he'll take it. Now they're knocking on the door. I like the way you can read his thoughts. Think of it from the opposite side of the ball. They thought they had a chance to make a play and knock it away. Didn't get it done. Can they reset now and hold them to a field goal? And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Browns have moved out in front. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a... And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. They're going to keep it on the ground, and he is into the end zone as that pushes the lead up to six. So 
two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Pierce will try to pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 16. They'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Faking the give. Now Watson. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The 71 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And now Watson throws another interception. And the Texans are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter play. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Play fake, Mills. He's got it to Collins complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Working out of the gun, Mills. Buying to Mills hit, and he loses the ball. But I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Hand off, left side, Pierce. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. To throw, Mills. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Jadevian Clowney. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead is back down to three here at 16-13. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. 
Yeah, and we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they had the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The Browns drive about to get started. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Garrett Wallow there on the stop. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Watson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Desmond King picks it. And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. He'll complete this one to Collins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Throwing, Mills. Touchdown! Chris Moore from eight yards out. And the Texans have retaken the lead. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Turn it and his guys will begin at the 25. Now Nick Chubb of the Browns get set for their next possession. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And it, oh, Chubb fumbled it. And the Texans scoop it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And, and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second to look at this just to make So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. A give. This is Chubb. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. A good play there is the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. And off comes to Chubb, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On play action, Brissett. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go, and it's going to bring up a third down. The Browns on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Out to his left. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They go play action with Brissett. 
And this a leaping effort, but it's not to weigh it incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. York able to send this one through, and that'll bring him back within a point. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hold. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. From his end zone, here's Traymond Smith. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mills. To Pierce, they set up the screen. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Browns will take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. They begin this drive with Chubb. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Off of play action, it's Watson. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 91 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Watson off play action. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So a bold call, but this drive will forge on. First and ten after the fourth down conversion. Resets throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They run. Chubb. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Brissett sets to throw it. 
And this will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. Able to slither by. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Play action now. Brissett. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Now Cade York for the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is where close games feel well because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that and increase it. Let's see how this one can. Mills hit, and he loses the ball. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, but the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw his Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Mills again. And he finds Howard complete. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mills on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. If you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. On first and ten, Brissett. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Rolling to his left. And this is going to be caught but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive but nothing since. Play fake. Brissette. And this one is incomplete. Over the dime left on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. Desmond King back deep. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half, but when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mills now. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10. At their own 27. Here's a throw. Complete right side to start things out. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be second down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Over the middle here, the Brown. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. 
The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Texans will take over. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And Pierce gets it again on second down. Oh, what a move. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. Mills to throw it. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. On the carry, it's Chubb. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 142 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Brissett. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. Watson still hauled in by Bell. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he's going to have a Browns first down as good running gets him to about the 44. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, it's Watson. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A well-executed 22-yard gain. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. They'll try to run it here. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. <laughs> the 
York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Mills. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is going to have a Texans first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's the option, running right. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. From the shotgun, it's Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cook. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 40. Back to throw. Mills. This one left side caught by Collins. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Back to the ground with Pierce. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Going for it with Pierce. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard. Continues with a nine yard pickup. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And they'll try to throw here. Mills. Got his man complete over the middle. That's more. And the Texans are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. They'll run here with Pierce. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Looking to throw. Mills. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. O.J. Howard from three yards out. And the Texans get a bit closer. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive 12 plays in length. And the result, a Houston touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he got made back to the 15. It's his hit. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
six on the offense. Here we go. Here they're their next drive. As we stand right now, the fourth quarter, this we pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but self-inflicted. It has had a turn of reversers. You have to think that's going to be something that is just going to be a Yeah, it's 
on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. A run for Nick Chubb and this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run. Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the 21. 20 in the red zone. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll get down this time to the 17. Four yards the pickup, first down. Looks like he'll throw here. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, he's got to have that wrong, doesn't he? They, they decline that. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Sorry to step on you there, partner, but let's go ahead and run this one together, right? Incomplete pass. Yeah, they call pass interference, and somehow you're going to decline that. I'm so confused. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Catch up. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They give it off here to the tight end. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. 
Pharaoh Brown taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns have made it a three-score game now here in the fourth. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to a rate. And Mills is intercepted for the third time. Picked up by John Johnson. And the Browns come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea where the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.